Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we worked with the app panel, we made this as a default one, also we have the login and registration page only for the app panel, not for the admin. Right now we are not logged in, so here we, if I go to the slash app, we navigate to the login page. But because we are not logged in, if I navigate right now to the admin, and yeah, we have this error because we are not, not protecting this route. I removed the auth middleware and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to create, I'm going first, I'm going to add uh, his admin column inside the user's table and then create a new middleware where we are going to check first for if the user is authenticated and then to check if the user is admin. If that is true, it's going to be allowed to be here. Otherwise, we are going to show the error page or we can redirect a new page. Okay, so for that, let's open the VS code and first I'm going to create, I'm going to add that column to the users table. So let's say artisan. Make migration. And I'm going to say add is admin the users and I'm going to specify the table which is users. Hit enter and let's close this and let's open that page that file so is admin ok and I'm going to say here dollar sign table it's going to be a boolean and say is admin default is going to be false and I'm going to add this after the let's say after the email okay and also I'm going to say here the assign table drop the column and the column name is admin save close this one and let's open also the database seeder here when we create a new user I'm going to make this user admin so I'm going to say is admin to be true okay let's save let's close this now let's open the terminal and let's say artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed hit enter okay now if I open the table plus and early fresh yeah we have this user which is is admin to one good now let's go and create the middleware artisan make middleware and I'm going to name it verify is admin hit enter good let's close this and let's open that verify is admin middleware and here what I'm going to do is to check first if the user is authenticated so out user and if the out user is admin okay now let's open the user model and I'm going to add that is admin in the fillable so is admin and also I'm going to add that here just to specify that the is admin is a boolean like this save close this one and now if the auth user if the user is authenticated and the authenticated user is admin which is going to return true or false if that is true I'm going to return next request otherwise I'm going to say abort or let's say abort first abort with the 403 and I'm going to add a message here you are not allowed to access this page and let's close and let's save this 
Now let's open the panel. So the admin panel provider. Here we have middlewares. We removed the web middleware. We removed the out middleware. So let's register that middleware we created, which is verify is admin class. And let's say now if I come here and refresh, we are not logged in. We have you are not allowed to access this page. Good. If we navigate the app, let's log in with the admin example password sign in let's change let's say just admin here and now if i go to the admin yeah we can access this page go to the dashboard and so on if i log out and let's uh, create new account i'm going to say test test example test at test.com and add the password Let's sign up, let's say test here. Now first we don't have that uh, link and also we need to change that, but let's navigate the admin like this. And yeah, here we have, you are not allowed to access this page, but instead of saying you are not allowed to access this page, I'm going to redirect. So let's open this and instead of aborting, I'm going to say return redirect the slash up like this and let's save now if i refresh here we redirect the app okay because we are not admin so just let's go admin yeah if i log out sign out and let's check here slash admin again and yeah, we redirected the app login. Very good. Now let's log in with the admin. Okay, we have this link, but this link is, let's open the app panel provider. And here we have menu item, make admin URL and visible if out user is admin. And I think we have, if I open the user model, yeah, we have this method, but I'm going to remove this, save, close, and now I'm going to check if the auth user, is admin like this, which is a boolean and is going to return true or false. And if I refresh now, yeah, we have the admin, we navigate there, got dashboard, let's, now if I go to the admin and if I sign out here, yeah, we redirect to the app login, let's say test at test.com, add the password, sign in, we don't see that and also if I navigate to the admin, we redirect back. Okay friends, that's it all about this video, I hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a video, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and see you in the next one, all the best.